This video is going to cover the use of the dental USB software that comes with the MD960U and also how to use Windows with it so that you can present some cases to patients. The first thing you want to do is just enter a patient so that you can uh, bring some information up and just use the, the software. You can use the actual patient's name or I just, uh, I just use a sample uh, 123 for a patient. I just then resize the image if it's uh, the window if it's the first time that you've actually started it up. And you only need a 640 by 480, uh, so you don't need a, a large window. The next thing I do is I make a folder on the desktop. I call this one Intraoral Images, uh, where all the images will be saved, and then you'll be able to use Windows Photo Viewer uh, to show the patient the images. Uh, all the presentation I do would be through uh, Windows Photo Viewer. Um, all the images are in that folder that we created called Intraoral Images, and then Photo Viewer will allow you to uh, open it and other programs will allow you to email uh, directly from that. So really that's where you want to be uh, uh, doing all your presentations. Uh, how you want to work with this folder uh, is up to you. Uh, if you're using a um, practice management solution, you can import these files directly into your practice management. But for now, I'm just going to get them out of the way by just renaming them in a new folder. You could also do this with the uh, patient's identification numbers if you wanted to. Uh, it, it all depends on how you want to do it. Uh, I just, for use of showing it in the video, just uh, rename it to old, and then that way the images, when they're saved, will then uh, go directly into that folder. The first thing you want to do is identify your image source if it's the first time that you've opened up uh, the dental USB software. And in my previous video, I showed you how to install the driver. And you just select that MD driver. And now you'd want to go into Capture, which will bring up the Capture window. So this would be sort of the live video feed of uh, what's going on in the camera. And here we've selected the video device as MD. Um, and I'm turning the camera on, switch mirror off. And your capture size is 640 by 480. And a lot of people don't realize this, but if you click on settings through here, and then click on, I guess it's video processor amp, uh, it will allow you to adjust brightness, contrast, uh, saturation and sharpness and I left out hue only because I'm not sure that the MD960U has the driver software or chipset that allows you to um, adjust the hue. You can see that I've adjusted brightness and contrast and that sur surely uh, makes a difference when you adjust it but as you can see here hue doesn't doesn't seem to adjust anything. Uh, saturation surly, uh, is almost uh, whether you want the image to be black and white or not. You can see on my uh, countertop here that uh, you can change the saturation or a better example would be uh, on my teeth. Um, usually keeping it around I think 35 is where I usually keep it for the the camera settings or 29. Um, again adjusting the hue doesn't seem to make a difference, but the sharpness certainly does. So these are some settings that before you really start to get into the camera, you want to find a series of settings that work well for you or feel, you, you know, captures uh, good images. So I like the look of that. And if I just capture, using the camera button, capture, you can capture images directly off the camera, that is. So the next thing you want to do is save as. And here I didn't select both images, so it'll probably only select that one. Uh, but here's where I would, uh, by selecting the control button, I would click on each image, and it would save both of them instead of just the one. But if I then go into intraoral images, you'll see the image that was saved through it. You can see here now I'm going back and I'm selecting both images. That's pretty much how you'd want to do that. Save as. And you'd save it by the 
I don't know, the chart number or whatever you use to identify the patient. And there are the two images. So as you can see, when you bring up Windows Photo Viewer, just by clicking on the image, uh, you want to also adjust this so that it's at a 640 by 480 size so it looks um, representative of the, the size of the image. And then you can see uh, the images. I like using Windows Photo Viewer also because I use the iPad as a second monitor and it's easy to drag the Windows Photo Viewer window over to that monitor. Here I've selected uh, open paint right from Windows Photo Viewer and you can see it allows you to do uh, all kinds of annotation. Uh, some of the dental vendor solutions don't, don't have annotation. So by using just a Windows solution you can have uh, some annotation features. So you just annotate whatever you'd like to say about that and here I'm going to say these are teeth. Um, you can change fonts, you can bold it, italicize, whatever you'd like to do. You can also draw using the pen if you wanted to circle, for example, the, uh, the recession that I have. You could have circled that and made an, a notation and then save a copy of it. So that's also a nice thing about it. Uh, you don't overwrite the image and you can save an annotated version of it. And now when we go back to Windows Photo Viewer, you can also see that I may have to reopen Windows Photo Viewer from the intraoral images folder. I do. And then you can see that I now have the three images that come up. It looks like it just says these are teeth, but it's just because the image is identical. If you wanted to email it, you could even email it to a patient directly from here. You just go to attach fi email attach files and just remember to select 640 by 480 so you don't have this enormous uh, picture well, and, uh, attached to the email. And then you can also go full screen, which I, I, I don't really like doing, again, because we use it off the iPads. And the Windows Photo Viewer at 640 by 480 is a perfect view uh, with great uh, resolution, especially on the um, air display, the new, uh, the new, um, the new iPad's uh, retina display is what I meant to say. So that's that.